is I obviously pick beginner. You are um, allowed to go into the options there and change the health settings if you want to give yourself more health if you're struggling to get through beginner. But um, if you spent a little bit of time practicing, you shouldn't need to do that. And it's quicker, obviously, to just not go into the menu on every reset. Obviously, we're going to be picking Gilius. Okay, so um, when we start the run, uh, there's kind of like a, a vertical seam around about here. When you pass that, you're going to get control of Gilius and you just want to be uh, double tapping right to uh, sprint across the screen. Then next you want to be looking for those kind of these two pebbles in the background and then there's this little black um, crevice. So when you get in line with that, so about here, that's when you want to jump, keep holding right and go into your down step. And then there is this other guy who's going to be approaching from the top. He wants to surround you and come into your left. So as soon as you finish the down stab on this guy, you're going to double tap right again, go into another down stab and then come back left. So notice that I have, um, I did my down stab facing right. If I go left too early, then this guy is going to try and dodge out of the way to down stab. So go right and then swing back in left so that you only just hit this guy. Then I'm immediately going up and right. If you see there's these like horizontal lines on the screen, um, this, they're kind of coming like sets of two, if you can call it that. So this first one, you want to get in line, sort of standing with your feet in between these two lines. And then you're going to go into another down stab as quick as you can. There's going to be a guy running in from the right. Um, he is going to sprint across. Don't hit him too far on the right. Try and stay as far left as you can because we want to set up a rolling attack as soon as we finish this down stab. So doing the down stab, and then you can see there is another guy entered screen further down and on the right. So when we land the down stab, we need to just move slightly down and right, and then we can go into a rolling attack with attack and jump together. And that is going to hit the next guy. Then the next thing we want to do is just move back up onto this same vertical position between these two lines, and that is going to be uh, the correct positioning if we just keep holding right now and then you'll notice there are two pebbles in the background don't go further than this rightmost pebble a thief is going to run on the stage if you hit him too early you won't be able to get a second attack in uh, because you'll knock him too far off the screen so just wait here wait for the thief to sort of run on screen a little bit and then you can get the two attacks in to knock both the bits of magic out of his hand um, we're not actually going to pick up any of the magic. It turns out that is slower. So once you've walked underneath the two bits of magic, you can then move back up to the same uh, line. Uh, if you look at the end of this wall, there's kind of like a, a vertical seam here. This is the point that you reach and then the screen will lag for about a frame while the enemies are loaded in. So you want to be not on it. We're going to do a rolling attack. So we want to be facing left. We want to be roughly on this line. And we uh, want to wait just a little bit in front of this wall for the lag frame. And then we're going to go into the rolling attack. Oops. Go back to cursor. And then we're going to get a second guy who's now baited. Uh, he wants to get on that chicken leg. Nothing else matters. He is always just going to pass straight up to that. doesn't matter what you do. Um, we're just going to go slightly down and right and then get him with another rolling attack. And then we jump up onto the cliff 
And if you look underneath uh, Gilius, there are three pebbles. So we go one, two, three. And once we pass this third pebble, we go a tiny bit further. And then that is the perfect time to double tap your sprint to go into a headbutt. And if you land that perfectly, you should barely even see the thief on the side of the screen as you hit him. As soon as you are doing the headbutt, just hold down. Once you've started the headbutt, you need to be moving down to hit this thief as quick as possible. Um, you may even need to go a little bit to the left just to make sure that you are in front of him. If you stand right on top of the thief, you will either just not hit him or you might do a kick, which is slower than just doing a normal clobber on the head with the axe. So you want to go just to the left of him here. And then you're going to wait for um, the screen to um, transition. We can move as far up into the top of the cliff as possible and then hold right. So there's two things you could do here. On the TAS, I recorded doing a back attack. So we will just watch what happens for that first. So you can see that I am waiting just on top, not, not in the middle, but just slightly to the left of this pebble waiting for the uh, the guy who's now spawned to move down into position and I can do a rolling attack to hit him. If you are struggling with that, you can actually just do a, um, a down stab. So as soon as you get to this pebble, if you're holding right on the screen before, so if we go back in time a little bit, so you're holding right, you get here, instead of turning around and waiting, you can just go straight into a down stab, holding right, and you should connect with that guy who spawns in. So after you've finished that guy, you can move up and you can see these sort of horizontal lines again. We're going to move up to this one. So you want your feet sort of in the middle of these two lines and you want to be not all the way up onto the side of the cliff here, maybe just a tiny bit in front of it. And then we can go into a rolling attack and take out the next guy who spawns in. And he should be running at you as well. Um, then you are pretty much already on the correct uh, sort of line. So again, between these two, maybe a tiny bit up so that your feet are touching the top of it. Uh, and then we're just going to hold right. And we get rid of that arrow. So you can see now the uh, turtle village sign in the background. So we want to move until we are just kind of, Gilius's head should be just in front of this. So I'm going to go a little bit further forwards and then I can start double tapping to run and jump so that I can begin a down step. You're going to get a lag screen um, in the middle of this while the enemies load in, but you want to be already jumping by the time that that happens. So the timing of that is a little bit tricky to get used to, but with a bit of practice, I'm sure you'll get there. So you notice that I'm now in the air while the screen's lagging. It's quite a long one because it's spawning in four enemies and a chicken leg. And as soon as that uh, finishes, in fact, you, you should even just be holding the, um, holding down the attack button now so that as soon as the game finishes on lagging, you go into a down stab. This is a little bit annoying because if you go back to here, um, Gilius's hitbox is pretty massive for this axe. And if you are too far right here, you can actually hit the giant who's just off screen here with this attack before you transition into the down stab. And if you do that, you do way less damage and you won't one shot the giant. So be careful not to hit the giant with this attack before you actually get into the down stab. But if all things go well, you should hit the down stab. 
then you can immediately start walking down and right. It's kind of a bit difficult to see with this chicken leg rider in a way, but you want to get to just the uh, just on top of the feet of the giant, and then you can start doing a down stab by running left, and you want to swing left a little bit and then come in right to land the down stab. So we'll just watch what that looks like. So the the positioning of this is actually quite difficult because if I go back a tiny bit. Um, so the uh, the chicken rider, he wants to dodge out of the way of the down stab, so it's ideal to be going as far left as possible and then swing back in. Um, also, you've got the same problem with Gilius's axe attack. If you do the weapon swing while you're facing right, there is a good chance of accidentally hitting this giant in the face before you get into the down stab and therefore you won't one shot him, you'll have to wait for him to stand up and do an extra down stab. So there's kind of a very narrow window between doing the um, the down stab. So if you see, let me get the cursor back. So I turn around do the attack, it barely misses. If I was going to do the attack facing the other way, I would be doing it slightly earlier, and that would give the chicken leg guy more time to get out of the way. So if you if you go too far left and do this and start a down stab early to avoid hitting this giant, that'll result in the chicken leg guy dodging and you'll miss him. But obviously if you do the swing too late then you'll hit the giant so it's kind of threading the needle it's, it's a very difficult strategy but if you land it then you can just go straight into another down stab and finish off this last guy it's an easy one to land because there's a chicken leg there he's not going to dodge a down stab he's just going to be slowly walking over to that chicken leg without a care in the world so that is the end of stage one so now that we are using strats with no magic, um, you will only need to land three hits on this thief. So good RNG is to have a thief who is on the right hand side of the screen so that you can do one, two, three hits and knock him off the right. So a reminder to people who aren't aware, uh, thieves at the end of these thief stages will always exit left. So if you haven't pushed him all the way off the edge of the screen, uh, you lose a load of time by them running over to the left, so it's ideal for them to be on the right hand side of the screen here so that you can get your three hits in and they'll be all the way off the screen so that you completely skip that animation. Uh, also, I am playing on uh, six pack, so um, there are a few different rev revisions of the Genesis game or Mega Drive game, depending where you're from. Um, for speedruns we use the six pack version because on these thief stages you can move further off the side of the screen. So I was able to hit that thief and you couldn't even see him. Um, if you were to try that on the standard cartridge you probably wouldn't be able to do it. You'd get blocked by an invisible wall that's uh, sort of less forgiving. So that's another thing to keep in mind. So that is the end of the first camp. So onto the second stage, so your reference point is there's a vertical seam here. Once Gilius's feet are either side of that line, that is when you get control. And you just want to be holding right and down. I like to hold right a tiny bit and then go into right and down just to move Gilius a little bit further into a position I like to get the bait on this guy. So if you're just holding down and right at this point, he should um, go into a run. He's gonna do a charge, shoulder barge, and suicide himself off the end of the stage. Then if you look at these sort of um, nobbles on the end of the uh, turtle's back, you wanna be stopped with Gilius's foot just kind of in front of or above 
this right hand um, sort of little dot. Be careful if you're not used to playing Gilius and you're used to playing Tyrus. When you go from this um, sort of animation to his standing still animation, his foot goes a lot further to the right than you might be expecting and his hitbox extends out further. So um, it's easy to be too far right if you're used to playing Tyrus. So just keep that in mind. And then when the other guy spawns, once he goes into his charge attack, just move up the screen to dodge out the way and he will suicide as well. Okay, next we're going to be looking at these dots on the bottom of the screen again. You can see there's this pack of five. I'm going to stop so that Gilius' heels are just sort of in between the fourth and fifth one, maybe above the fifth one even, and wait for the uh, screen to scroll. I like to keep an eye on sort of this curvy bit down here. When the screen gets to the bottom of the curve, that's my cue to double tap left and go into a headbutt. Uh, sorry, not a headbutt. Is it a headbutt? Yeah, it is a headbutt. I'm getting confused. Headbutt to take out the first guy. And then I look for uh, sort of this. Um, is it this line or this line? Let me just watch it. I think it's this one, but I was a little bit late. Any, anywhere in between here is okay. But you basically want to run over to here, jump so that you can go into a down stab. This guy should be sprinting at you. He's then going to do a shoulder barge. You land a down stab on him over on the left so that he also gets knocked into the pit. Then you get the villagers. You can just chill out here. And then you want to be in the top hand right of the screen holding right. So make sure you've gone all the way up as far as you can, holding right, waiting for this door to appear. So we don't want to get under the door, but this panel on the left of it, once, you're un once your head is underneath this bit, you can turn around and start doing the rolling back attack. If you are newer to the speedrun, you can kind of use the lag frame that you get here to your advantage. So you may notice that um, often when you do the rolling attack, um, you will accidentally jump or accidentally attack instead of doing the roll. But that's because you need to hit roll and attack, sorry, jump and attack on exactly the same frame, which can be difficult to do consistently. But you can sort of buffer your inputs during a lag frame. So if you hold attack and jump as the screen is lagged, when it unlags, then it registers those two buttons together. So you, you can't accidentally do a jump or a, um, an attack instead of the rolling attack here if you hold your inputs during the lag frame. So after we've done the rolling attack on the Dragon Rider, we want to move up and right, sort of just above the dragon's head, maybe a little bit further right. And then we can go into another rolling attack to hit the second Amazon woman. And then we're going to move to the left so that we don't accidentally get on the dragon and then down. And we want to be with our ankles just in line with here so that we can do a rolling attack to the left and hit the guy who's going to run on screen and not bonk into this wall. So make sure you're low enough down the screen so that you can actually land this attack. And then for this thief bit, you don't need to do this super quickly. The villagers that are running across the screen need to exit the screen before it can continue. So you don't need to worry about going super fast there. Just hit the thief three times. Then you want to be in position as far up into this top right hand corner as you can. Then hold right as the screen scrolls. And then we're going to look out for a reference point on the top of the stage. So we get to these sort of doors. So you get a little one here, a big one here, and then two small ones. So you want to be just at the right hand side of this small hole on the left. Then you can turn around and do a rolling attack to hit the two enemies. Then you want to be holding down and right. And you can see the Amazon woman already. We're going to be moving down to in front of her. Don't go too far right because we want to do the rolling attack.
And then after you've hit this Amazon woman, you can see these kind of wavy bits on the bottom of the screen. So we're aiming to be just below this first one here. So you want to sprint to the left if you can and go down here. And then we're going to be doing a rolling back attack to hit the enemies that are going to spawn in from the left. In fact, I didn't even sprint there. So if you can just get down there as quick as you can, do your rolling attack to hit the first one, do another rolling attack to hit the next one, who is just going to be walking to get back on the dragon, so that'll be in exactly the same position as the previous enemy. And then the skeleton, you may need to just do a, a little bit of a sprint to the right um, to get into position for the rolling attack on that skeleton. And that is the end of the second stage. So then on to the second camp. The ideal RNG is for the thieves to be stacked together on the right here so that we can just do one, two, three attacks, but uh, you may get a different pattern. They're probably going to be split up, so um, I'd recommend going for the blue one and just hoping that they will converge together again at some point and you want to be knocking them off to the right-hand side again. Um, if the thief spawns in and he's like on the left, you are either going to have to wait for him to run right so that you can do one, two, three, knock him off the side, or you may even decide to just knock him to the left if that's quicker. So uh, there's a bit of reacting that you need to do depending on the RNG that you get. But if you're going for the record or something, then you're probably going to need to get RNG similar to this. Again, don't need to pick up any of this magic. From this point, it doesn't actually matter if you pick up magic, so don't worry if you accidentally do. So at the start of this stage, uh, let me just go back a little. So there's another sort of vertical seam around here. This is where you're going to get control of Gilius, and as soon as you reach that, you want to double tap and go into a headbutt so that you move all the way across the screen and you want to be bonking into this bottom step here. Then you can immediately go into a jump attack and delay your jump attack as late as you can. You're going to bonk into this wall and then you're going to knock this guy into the pit. Then you need to do a little bit of a delay here. The timing can be a little bit annoying. We want both of these enemies to run and charge into this downstab attack. So we're going to do the downstab facing left and then swing round right to hit both of these enemies. So if I go back to where I jumped, you want to be roughly in the middle of the screen, uh, in the middle of this gap even, when you do jump. And that should result in the double down step. If you hold right um, as the screen is scrolling here, then just tap left as soon as a thief appears and then hit him twice, you should knock him into the pit. Then if you look out for the, um, there's actually a tiny little drop down here as you move from this planks down to the uh, stone pavement below. Just as you get into the, the transition between the two, you don't need to drop down, but just, just on this right bit here, you can turn around and go into a rolling attack and you should land that on the Amazon woman, then move down and right so that you are in the right uh, vertical position to hit this Amazon woman and go for a second rolling attack. Then you want to move up into the top right of the screen. You'll end up underneath this window and then stop holding any inputs. So once you're in position, don't hold anything, just wait. And then you can see this door that says Deb. Um, you want to wait for just as the D appears. The timing's a little bit different to people who've practiced this for um, for Tyrus. You need to go a little bit earlier on Gilius, but you basically want to hold sprint until the game starts its uh, lag frame. So when it freezes. Um, this isn't actually an ideal position. You want to be further right. You want to be sort of about here. But this is still okay. It just means I'm going to have to hold right for longer. 
that'll make sense in just a second. So during the lag frame, hold jump and right so that when the game unlags, you jump and you move right. And then you start your down stab. You want to keep holding right so that you move all the way to the middle of the door and then turn around. Notice uh, Gilius's hitbox, his axe swings around quite far. So this is probably as far left as you can get away with and it'll still actually work. Ideally, I want this tip of Gilius's axe to be right down the middle of the door for the best consistency. So you can see actually, because I had a bit of momentum by the time I actually hit the floor, I am sort of near the middle of the door. But I think I only just got away with this one. Then you go into a second down stab and move into the top right of the screen and then tap down twice to get into position to hit the thieves that spawn in. Then hold right. You want to get to just past this uh, corner. So stop just in front of it for the thieves to run into you and then you should be able to get a hit on both of them another hit on both of them and then you can do a headbutt into the third one then we're going to look out for there is kind of like a, a dark line here just above where this potion has dropped so we want to move up onto that and then keep holding right and then you're going to look out for this um, road one sign rd number one and you want to be just i think i'm a, a bit far right again here but this line in between the sort of gray brown and the reddish brown you want to be somewhere around here with your head there then you can turn around and go into a rolling attack and that should land on all three of the gold guys who spawn, spawn in on the right then you need to be very quick here hold up and right and you want to be moving up to just underneath this uh, rd1 sign uh, you can go a little bit further right um, but we want to be setting up a down stab now as soon as possible so that we land in the middle of the door so Gilius's axe the tip should be as close to the middle of the door as you can get it then the boss spawns in and if you've done everything correctly the skeleton on the left should now um, run along the screen so that you can get a down stab on both the skeleton and the boss so move to the right do a down stab swing back in left and you should be able to hit both of them another down stab to take the boss further left and now you need to bait this skeleton into an attack without actually being hit so you need to move close enough uh, so that the skeleton starts to take a swing at you but then you're going to immediately run left to dodge it go into a down stab and hit both the skeleton and the boss to finish the run and that is the end so hopefully that helps some people out if you have any questions feel free to reach out and i'll do my best to explain it but that is the gilius beginner speedrun so good luck with your attempts and hope you enjoy